Hello once again. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you my final exam of the physics course. Uh, in it we demonstrate primarily axis aligned bounding box collision detection. In particular we examine 2D axis aligned bounding boxes with a height element. So the story is that we have city blocks of buildings of different heights. In this example there are 49 city blocks, 7 by 7 with 100 buildings each. Like so. On the corner of the tallest building is an eagle's nest, which is uh, the yellow sphere. There you go. And on the nest is an eagle, which is the red sphere. On the ground, there are 100 prey, which are the blue spheres here, which can only be placed on the street. The goal is to find out if there is a direct line of sight from the nest to the prey. And the line of sight is depicted by a set of 100 spheres uh, in a line. So when a building is created, it's given an ID based on its XYZ position. The X coordinate is multiplied by 1 million, the Y coordinate by 1000, and the Z coordinate by 1. And then the three are added together to form a unique ID. The ID serves as a key and a map variable with the building height as the map value. So we create an ID for each sphere in the line of sight in the same way and check it against the map variable that contains the building IDs and heights. If a sphere is uh, intersecting with uh, one of these axis aligned bounding boxes, then we <coughs> check the building height. And if the sphere is below the building height, then it is intersecting with the building. And the spheres get, the get a new color. And we know that the prey is not in the line of sight. So let's see this in action. Now, first go over the controls. So we've got W, A, X, no, oh, that's A, W, A, S, D, Q, and E. Ah, we've got uh, the arrow keys to change the pitch and the yaw. And <coughs> we can pause and unpause the directional light, which isn't really important for this project, but uh, this project is based off the second project, and so I just left it in there. Uh, we can toggle the drawing of the buildings, and this will show us if the uh, line of sight calculation is working correctly, and if the prey are in the streets or not. <coughs> Uh, and finally, we can use the uh, comma and period keys to uh, select the next or previous prey. So we can see in this example, we have a direct line of sight to prey. Let me just make sure that's working. Yep. And we'll go to the next prey, and we have a sphere intersection with the building. Go to the next prey, more sphere intersection. We can check that with the O key. Yeah. So that's uh, it for this demonstration. Hope you enjoy it.